Hi, today I'll show you how to set up Stylus RMX within uh, Ableton Live in multi-channel mode. So I already went ahead and set up a, a few channels here in Stylus RMX, uh, five of them, so I have five samples loaded into five different uh, channels here. If I go ahead and play those, they'll all start simultaneously. If I wanted to, within Stylus RMX, I can play uh, each channel separately. But what if I want to do the same from uh, within Ableton? There is no way of doing that um, right now. So the next step is to bring each of these five uh, channels from Stylus RMX into a separate uh, track within Ableton. And the way to do that is by using a special uh, instrument that comes with uh, Ableton Live called an external instrument. Now go ahead and add an external instrument and drag it into a new track. And as you can see it looks like a normal uh, MIDI track except that it has a special instrument here at the bottom and this is where we will uh, set everything up and we will do so for every uh, channel that we want to bring from uh, Stylus RMX into uh, Ableton Live and what will happen is the MIDI that will be played by this track will be sent to the device that I select here in this case it's called uh, Stylus RMX because that's the name of the track here and by doing so I a whole bunch of options became available here uh, which are the channels uh, within Stylus RMX and for this track I'll select number 2 here which is the second channel within Stylus RMX because the track containing the plugin is going to be the first channel so since I have five channels here, I'm going to quickly duplicate this uh, track here another four times, or well, three times. There we go, so now I have five tracks. And now you need to set a proper channel for each uh, track. So this will be channel three, channel four, and channel five. Note that I have now armed the second track, so if I go into Stylus RMX and I'll play on my MIDI keyboard, it plays the uh, selected uh, sample, but because I have selected Slice menu here, uh, every different note that I play plays a different slice of the of the sample so what I'm gonna do is change this here to groove menu and you see a piano roll so up here now so if I now play different uh, keys on my keyboard it's gonna play uh, different samples rather than slicing one sample up it's now gonna play uh, the sample that is assigned to uh, the key on the keyboard So depending on what it is you are after, uh, you can switch here between Groove Menu or Slice Menu. But for now I'm going to set the, this to Groove Menu and I'm going to check all the others as well, that all of them are set to Groove Menu. Okay, now that that is done, for each channel I'm going to grab the MIDI and drag and drop it into Ableton. As you can see, I now have five different tracks, five different uh, MIDI channels, each of them playing a different note. And if I now go ahead and play those, you can 
can see that actually works except that all the audio is still in the first track here and that's not really what I want so the next thing to do is to set up each track uh, to play uh, the audio that it was assigned to and to do that we go back to the external instrument and there you have the option in the audio from it says B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up to H. And you may have noticed that if you have a look in Stylus RMX in the mixer, it has options here that are named uh, the exact same. So out A up to out H. Except that right now, uh, all the five channels have the same output so we're going to change that setting the second channel to B, C and so on and now we need to set up each track to match the audio from so this is C and E and let's see what happens now if we play um, the tracks again as you could see every track now properly displayed the channel output that it was uh, assigned and you can now do uh, all the things you would normally do with a with a, uh, a track in Ableton, like you can mute it, you can uh, silence it, and whatnot. If you want to, you can have one track play uh, multiple samples uh, simultaneously, simply by adding some uh, MIDI to uh, that particular track. In this case, it's track three. I'm just going to enable this for a second. Yeah, let's go with this. And let's see what that sounds like. There we go, simple as that. Well, there you have it, Stylus RMX, uh, multiple channels into separate uh, tracks within Ableton Live. Thanks for watching.